All right, my fellow backpackers. Well, today we're going to be doing a review on different hydration bladders that are available out there. We're going to go with uh, from low end to high end and compare the two and see how it goes. So here are the two models we'll be reviewing today. Uh, we're going to go uh, with a low end from Outdoor Products. Uh, this is found at Walmart. Uh, you can also find it on Amazon. And then over on the right here, we have the Camelback Antidote. Uh, also a uh, two liter hydration bladder and uh, this is a higher end so the um, outdoor products model can be uh, purchased for about ten dollars that seems to be the average and then uh, here on the right the camelback this uh, retails for about thirty dollars um, I looked on REI and Amazon and they were in similar pricing ranges so right around thirty dollars so now let's let's talk about the two products so first we'll be reviewing the Outdoor Products uh, 2 liter hydration system. Uh, again, this is the $10 model. Uh, it has a similar uh, filling mechanism. You just have this cap at the top of the bag. It screws and seals. Uh, and then you pop this open and you fill it up with your water. Uh, in both cases, in the Camelback and the Outdoor Products, it's not the most user-friendly method for filling, but you, know, you can understand with the design they really didn't have a choice. Uh, it does have a method for hanging it in case you're using uh, a water filtration system and you want to hang this along with it uh, using one of those uh, gravity filtration systems, I should have said. Uh, and then just to, it obviously just screws back on to seal the, uh, the cap. And the water so far hasn't leaked out. We've used this model uh, on about five trips. The Camelback, uh, twice that, about ten trips. Uh, but so far, the, uh, the fill cap on this outdoor products model has not uh, leaked on us yet. And the same thing with the connection for the hose. Um, this does connect differently than the Camelback model. Uh, this uses a screwing. It's got a threaded hose that screws into the, uh, the hole there. And it, it has, a, like I said, a threaded hose that goes right on. Uh, it's a little different on the Camelback. You'll see that when I talk about that one. But the, uh, the hose on the other end uses a uh, bite valve system, exactly the same as the Camelback. And it does have this um, open and close for the flow of water. So when you pull it up, the uh, water can flow through when you bite down and, and suck on it. And then to close the flow, you just push it down. All right, next we'll be reviewing the Camelback uh, 2.0. Uh, this is a two liter, just like the outdoor products. Uh, we did use the same amount of water to make sure that it filled the same way. And uh, while this one does look smaller, they are legitimately both two, uh, two liters. They both, ha both have this screw cap system to, uh, to fill the bladder itself. Um, I will say on the Camelback, it has a nicer and definitely higher quality O-ring and sealing system than the outdoor products uh, bladder had. And also, it's just one turn, and it seals the uh, the bladder for you. Uh, it does have the bite valve, as I said, um, in both cases. They both have a locking mechanism to control the flow of water. Uh, this one is a rolling control that allows for the flow or blockage of flow of the water. And then where it connects is a little different. Uh, as I mentioned in the outdoor products, it's a screwing uh, system. This actually uses a clip-in system with an O-ring on the end of the, um, of the hose. And it literally just clips in, forms a nice tight seal, and then you push in this tab to remove the hose. Alright, so let me give you my overall review. Uh, we are using both. Uh, bladders actively. Uh, my son's been using the outdoor products. I've been using the Camelback. Um, again, we got about 10 uh, hikes in on the Camelback and the outdoor products, um, about five hikes. I would say maybe a total of 25 miles on the outdoor products and uh, upwards of 60 miles on the Camelback. In both cases, uh, again, no leakage yet on either one of these. Um, I would say um, I noticed with the Camelback, if I'm being honest, there is sometimes, and maybe it's on hotter days, a funny flavor, almost like a, the plastic kind of flavor comes through the hose. Um, I do try to be good about cleaning it. They're both pretty easy to clean. 
you just uh, when you when you pop off the uh, the hoses you can run water into them and just when you open the valve you just blow water right through it you could put water in baking soda is uh, actually what I saw online as a recommendation for cleaning both the bladder and the hoses uh, so they're actually both pretty easy to clean um, so my end result is uh, you know if you're looking to save money I don't see any problem with the outdoor products it's a it's three times less it's only 10 bucks versus 30 bucks and uh, definitely a solid quality product haven't had any issues with it um, Camelback obviously a, a more more of a name brand and well-known product but in both cases they they're both performing equally so no uh, no problems with either of them yet so and result is I recommend either one of them if you're looking to save some money or just starting out the outdoor products is probably great uh, if you're going on longer hikes and maybe you want something you trust uh, maybe you go with the Camelback but I definitely don't see any problem with the outdoor products so hopefully that helps and remember just go backpacking